Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on period and frequency. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and to do the follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so to get started, things that happen on a recurring basis can be described in two ways. The first way is the amount of time between repetitions. So if you've got a hummingbird here, the amount of time it takes for one flap of its wings. Uh, the other way you can describe it is the number of repetitions that happen each second. So that would be like in one second or one minute, how many times does the hummingbird actually flap its wings? Well, in physics, um, or sorry, it happens to be for a hummingbird that uh, its wings flap 50 times each second. So that would mean in between each single flap, there would be 0 0.02 seconds. Or you could say that there's a repetition of 50 uh, flaps each second, or 50 times per second. In physics, we call the amount of time between repetitions, or the amount of time between a vibration or a recurring event, a period. And we call the number of repetitions or number of occurrences in amount of time frequency. So they're very much related. In fact, they're the inverses of each other, which is what we'll realize later. So we can use this terminology to describe waves or along with anything else that repeats. So waves at a beach, we can talk about them coming in once every 10 seconds. Um, so that would be the period, or in a span of a minute, five times per minute. Um, and really, it boils down to this way of calculating it. Now, this is a unofficial equation, um, meaning you're not going to see this uh, in your textbooks or things along those lines. But it's something we've developed to really help students understand this a little bit better. So the variable for period is t. Um, the amount of time uh, is usually going to be in seconds. And to calculate the period, you really just take the amount of time and you divide it by the number of repetitions or number of things that happen um, in that amount of time. So for example, if we had our hummingbird, uh, we have 50 times. Uh, and it's each second. So we take one second and we divide it by 50, and that gives us the 0 0.02. Now, frequency is just the inverse, hence inverse seconds, or hertz, as its units. The variable is this italicized or cursive f, and we just take the number of repetitions divided by the time, and that gives us the number of things per a second, or per a minute. Now, like I said, they're the inverse of each other, so frequency is just one over the period, and period is just one over the frequency. So if you know one of these things, you know them both. That's it. Three more bullet points worth of notes. One to two sentence summary and follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.